guys, welcome back to Digital Six Covered. Appreciate you showing up. And today's video is kind of a PSA. Um, been in the fire service 30 years, and I've always heard in the past, it's like if you have an issue, go to the fire station so that they can help you out. Now, in this case, uh, Dawson County, Georgia, there was a, a domestic abuse that is was previous, kind of a, a long term thing between a husband and a wife, and they have two children. Um, the news article I read today, the reason why I'm bringing this up because it has to deal with the fire station is she had basically was on the phone with 911. Uh, I don't know if 911 told her to, you know, basically head to the fire station or not. But right after she showed up with her two children, the husband showed up with a firearm, gun, and fatally killed the wife. Now, right in front of the children as well. With that said, it could have been even worse. So. You have someone, a maniac, and he's got a gun, and you head to the fire station. The fire station, in 98% of all departments across the nation, do not have firearms that can help you. They can't protect you with firearms against a shooter. So that's probably not the best place to show up. Um, with that, she basically had put the firefighters in jeopardy as well, which, in my opinion, wasn't a great option or a great move. But... It's been bred in to us for so many years. You know, it's like, if you have an issue, go to the fire station. And I totally understand that. But in this case, this wouldn't be the best place to show up to. Now, even showing up to a police department, depending on the hours of the day, whether they're uh, the administrative staff's there, say from eight to five or whatever their hours are, uh, it could be after hours. They may not be anybody there. Maybe all the personnel are out on the units, you know, basically making sure that their town's safe. So that's, that's another thing. Just heading to a police department may not give you the results that you're looking for. Um, best thing I, that I would believe that you would want to do is call 911, keep them on the phone, and try to get them to connect with the closest officer available that you guys could meet up with uh, to be able to protect you. So first and foremost, the best way to protect yourself is to have a firearm that you can protect you and your family with. So in that case, that wasn't the case. She tried to take refuge at the fire station. Along with her being um, shot and killed in the car in front of the fire station with her two kids there watching, um, there was also people, um, family personnel from one of the firefighters that was there. So that family of some kids got to witness and the wife got to witness the, uh, the whole scene go down as well. This could have went really sideways. He could have uh, luckily he did, after he fatally killed his wife, he put the gun down and waited for the sheriff's officers to show up. This could have turned completely 180 degrees the other way. The, the gunman could have continued on in the fire station and done the same thing to the fire personnel as well. So heading to the fire station is not always the best option, uh, depending on what the situation is. But I wanted to give you a PSA, a little, just a little service announcement about um, if you need to flee from an armed person or some type of uh, fatally kind of life saving needs that you need via something the sheriff's department, law enforcement, police officers should be working with, don't show up to the fire station. You're only putting our firefighters in jeopardy. So you guys take care, like, share, and subscribe. See you on the next video. And remember, as your six covered, see you.